10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. When man first discovered the power of the atom bomb, he was awed and terrified. Some feared that nature itself would be drastically changed, turning the frigid zone torrid and the torrid zone frigid. The changes of such a disturbing nature would most certainly disturb nature. Hippopotami might freeze up and rats might catch up. Pumpkins might grow up. While such changes never took place, because of increased radiation, there were mutations in plants and animals. Evil men soon found a way to use this knowledge for their evil purposes. Men like Mr. X. You mean Mr. X has a whole gang? That's right, Inspector. And they all wear their crazy hoods. What's more, I... Watch out for that man! You almost hit him! Look at him. I think something's wrong. wrong. Wait a minute. I felt his pulse. He seems to be in a coma or a deep shock. Mighty strange, if you ask me. How so? Well, now, this is the fourth case like this in four days. Ah, uh, all four exactly like? Mighty mysterious, every one of them. The first was the baggage clerk at Grand Pencil Station. Next, the pitcher at Rebel Stadium. And then the waiter at Luigi's. Easy does it, Gil. And this fella makes the fourth. <gasps> Who's that hiding up there? Hiding up where? There, on the lamppost. It's Astro Boy. Good evening, Inspector. Chief, I heard all the commotion, so I thought I'd drop by to see if I could be of any help. We appreciate your desire to help, but a young robot like you should be at home. Understand? Yes, sir. Just a minute, Astro Boy. Yes? I'd like to know how come you just happened to be at the scene of the crime. Mind you, I'm not accusing you of anything yet. But I'm not taken in by that sweet, innocent face, either. Like some people are. Meaning me, I suppose. Well, I don't mind saying that I have a lot of faith and trust in Astro Boy. Hmm, it's raining. We better go. And you better go, too, before you rust. Sometimes I get the feeling that Inspector Gumshoe doesn't like me. Uh-oh, who's that? Wait, he's talking to himself. I'd better listen. Neither man nor robot has caused this sickness. The world may never know who or what the cause really is. Hello. Who's that? Douse the light! What a rude little robot sneaking up on people and nearly blinding them. I'm sorry, sir, but I overheard what you said. You did, did you? Well, now you can just forget it. It has nothing to do with you, understand? You can just forget you even saw me. Strange man. Wonder who he is. He's King. And it has his name on it. Dr. Cool. I wonder if that's the Dr. Farley Cool of the Blackwell Astronomical Observatory. Meanwhile, across town at the ultramodern police headquarters, the defenders of law and order are hard at work. Astro Boy, Astro Boy. Perhaps Astro Boy has gone haywire. Are you daft that you could be forgetting all those wonderful things that Astro Boy has done for us in the past? Astro Boy is still a robot and he could pop his electronic buttons. Could and could it be, Inspector, that you have a strong dislike for all robots? All machines break down, but they don't change the sense of values. And Astro Boy is all right. Oh, no. All He's right. Not. Get the phone. You get it. I'll take it. No, I'll take it. Gumshoe here. Who's calling? This is Chief McLaugh. What? Would, Would you, you repeat, repeat that? that? I called to tell you that Astro Boy is guilty. He's the one who made all four men fall into a coma. You have to arrest Astro Boy. He's on his way to Blackwell Astronomical Observatory. I was right. Let's pick him up. Wait. We have no idea who telephoned us. Who cares? Come on. But Inspector, I don't think that we have to... I've got to find out what Dr. Cole knows about all this.
comes at this foul hour of the night. I'm just returning the cane you threw at me, sir. Egad, you must have the nose of a bloodhound. Here, but come in, my boy. The night is chilly. If you come seeking further information, I have none to give. Absolutely none. <laughs> Little does Oscar boy know that he's walking right into my trap. that I am bad. I believe you're a good man, but you've fallen in with bad men, and that makes you a weak man, Doctor. These are the impressions I get, understand? It's nothing personal. Now we have Robot and this. Thank you very much. But, sir, I don't want to hurt you any more than you want to hurt others. If you have any further information... <coughs> circumstantial evidence, but, but it doesn't look good. But I did nothing wrong. Nothing wrong, he says. Well, Chief, do you agree with me now? I don't know. Look, Astro Boy, if you're in trouble, tell us about it. I'll do everything I can to help you because, because I like you. Thank you, Chief, but I tell you, I'm innocent. Well, seize Astro Boy. I'm innocent, I tell you. Put me down. Put me down. I'm innocent. I didn't touch him. He just... What's that? A hot fly. That's what I saw when Dr. Cool fell over. Hmm. One of the men taking the robot has fallen with the same sickness. <laughs> the robot flew away. <laughs> We've searched and find no other people in the entire observatory. <laughs> that robot has tricked me for the last time. Get him! Oh, 
boy doesn't know yet is that little Bobo is only a part of regular Bo. Regular Bo is just like Bobo, only larger. But regular Bo is but a part of Big Bo, who in turn is a part of Bigger Bo. And Bigger Bo is, as you might guess, a part of Biggest Bo. Still want to play games? Who are you? I am Biggest Bo. Hush, 
Your boy, where have you been? The police have been looking for you. What is it you've done anyway? Don't tell me you think I'm guilty too, Dr. Oliphant. Of course not, but I have no idea what's going on. Look at this horse fly. I noticed it around both Dr. Cool and the policeman. I think it's connected with their sudden attack. Hmm. I see. This is far from ordinary. Look at that face with one large fang. And notice the X on the back. Only mutation could account for such a change. My mechanical brain doesn't know the word mutation. Let me explain. This little fellow's great, 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 great grandfather was a happy, ordinary horsefly. But then, some tremendous force affected its whole body. Radiation, for example, might destroy most horseflies, but some would survive, although they would be changed. And they would pass such changes on to their children. Nuclear explosions, we know, are sources of great radiation, strong enough to bring about changes that stagger the imagination. Of course, some changes might be slight, affecting only the outer markings. But a deer whose antlers became lobster claws would be quite a change. But the changes could go on, and on, and on. Until one could hardly remember how it all started. I see, Doctor. Then this horsefly could be a mutation that developed a highly poisonous bite. A poisonous horsefly? Sure. You saw the large fang this one has. I'll bet it bit both those men at the observatory. Maybe that's what Dr. Cool meant when he said the sickness wasn't caused by man or robot. Astro Boy, I think you have just put two and two together and come up with the absolutely correct answer. Hmm? Attention, old horsefly. Attention. It's time for your breakfast. So come and get it. Here. They must be breeding someplace, and I'll find out where or know the reason why. Astro Boy, come here. They're breeding those little monsters in this telescope here. Huh? What's this? Why, it's Bobo. I should have known we'd find that sassy robot here. <laughs> so you think you've discovered something? Well, my friends, you have. But it's not going to do you one bit of good, because you'll never get a chance to tell anyone about it. I gather by your mask that you must be the notorious Mr. X. Mr. X and friends, if you please. It's a pleasure to be able to share our little secret with you. We can talk for a while. Then you can get acquainted with our little horse flies, personally. They can't hurt Astro Boy. That's true. The fly's bite wouldn't affect a robot. But there are many ways to short-circuit him. Or maybe you'd like to join up with us. I should think a smart man like you would know better than to ask me. Okay, Professor. You had your chance and throw it away. Bobo! Yep. As a fellow robot, Bobo, I'm asking for help. Do what you're told, Bobo. Let out one of those horse flies. <gasps> They're all gone! They're all like that. No more horse flies. I gave them DDT for breakfast. Why'd you do a stupid thing like that? I want to be a good robot like Astro Boy. Better late than never. Bye. Oh, they got Bobo. But after all, then you're going to be all right. I'm sorry I caused you so much trouble before. Now's our chance. Take care of Astro Boy while I get Elephant. Quick, into the telescope! Ah! Uh, that kid's got quite a punch. Hi, 
I'll get him or know the reason why. Surround Blackwell. on the right side of the law. Poor Bobo. I'm going to miss him. Don't feel so bad, Astro Boy. Huh? He's part of us, and we'll soon fix him up. Goodbye, Bobo. And regular Bo, big Bo, bigger Bo, and bigger Bo. Goodbye, Astro Boy. We're off now to find us a brand new way of life. So long, Bo. All five of you. <laughs> 